ladies and germs, it's Joker here, back with another redstone tutorial for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. We are currently in the 1.16 update of the game, which means we've got the nether update, so I will be doing nether related stuff, but not today. This is a project that I have actually been working on for a while. This project is a Batcave entrance by CNB Minecraft. If you are out there, CNB, please leave a comment below. I've been watching you since probably day one. Anyway. Uh, he originally built this on the Java edition and unfortunately has never worked on any other version. Well, I did some redstone tinkering. I got it to work! <laughs> so, let's take a look. So, if I hit this button right here, you'll see that that opens up. The water is stopped. And you can walk straight on through. You could, if you really wanted to, place it in a block here to um, a piston underneath here so a block would be pushed up so you could walk straight across. But I have found that, unfortunately, it messes up with the rest of the redstone system. Um, so I will let you do that. And, of course, if you press it, the button again, the door closes, the piston will retract... And then the water is dropped down again. Now, the reason that you have to stop the water before you attract that block is because if that water hits uh, that block, it starts spewing out everywhere. But let's not worry too much about that now. Because I bet you all want to know how I built this and all the redstone behind it. So, without further ado, let's get on with today's tutorial. Okay, so to start off, you will need an area of 9 by 10 by 14 blocks high. The f so f actually from the base of this all the way up 14 blocks, this is literally going to be the platform I'm going to put everything on. So first thing that you need to do is grab some building blocks so you can build the frame of this. So I have 30 cut stone, 45 cut stone, and 17 cut stone. Don't worry about it too much. I will explain as I go. We have 26 dark wooden oak planks. Uh, so first, I'm going to take the cut stone. Start off with your stone. You want to come up by one block and remove that block there. You then want to build up uh, two. You want to keep this here. You want to come out. So that you have a three wide platform. Build out two more. And same on the other side. Like so. Then just fill in the top layer. This is so that water will not destroy your build. You can actually if you want to go ahead and just place a row there. Because you'll have to very shortly. Okay with that done. Now you want to grab the 45. Stir smooth there. Da, 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 da. Uh, cut stone. And the dark oak as well if you want. So you want to go one, two, three, four with the dark oak. And a one, two, three, four with the dark oak there. Then you want to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do that for both sides. Be back level. Ooh, nearly. Right, now all of this you want to fill it in. All of it. Just fit oh no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, just fill all of this in. You can, if you want, just break out these two blocks. It just, and that one, that one, and that one. Just saves your job later. So just keep building this up until you get to the very top. We will get to the top bit shortly. Right, that is basically the main structure done. Um, when you get to the top, you can do this if you want. But personally, um, I'd say white because it's... Very dependent on where everything sits on the rest of the build. Right, I think it's on to part one, which is actually the circuit. Okay, so you are going to need 16 green wool. You'll need one button, four redstone dust, three redstone repeaters, and three redstone torches. Right, so the first thing that you want to do is decide where you're going to put your button. Uh, you can put it wherever you want. Me, I put it down here, to be honest. So you want to come down so that then this block here is level with the back just here. You then want to come out a block. 
uh, I think it's an upper block, block there, block there, one there, remove that block, you then want two blocks just there, so you have something that looks like this, you then want to take your redstone, uh, you can place your button there if you want to, redstone there, there and there, torch on this side of the block, redstone repeater here on, ooh, you've got to get this timing right, nothing, uh, then a redstone repeater facing this way, which I should have checked the timing for. That's on full delay. And then a redstone repeater this way on two. On this block here, place down a torch. And place a block there. Yes. And then place another block adjacent to it. But this one here needs just the redstone just on it right so that is your on and off system almost ready uh don't press it because it won't do anything it'll just send it into a giant spiral of confusion we're going to go on with the pink circuit first no really we need to do the door yeah let's do the door part first okay Okay, so for the door you are going to need 25 blue wool, 11 redstone dusts, 10 redstone torches, 6 sticky pistons and 2 redstone repeaters. And first thing you want to do really is go and put in your uh, door mechanics which will be 4 pistons like a so, obviously level with where your door is going to be, then 2 just there. Go around the back of these and place two blocks like so, both with redstone dust on. Place another one there with a repeater on full delay. Then you want a block there with a redstone torch on there. You'll see that it does fire. Don't worry too much. You want to place a block here, block here, remove the middle block. You then want to place a torch down there. Then bring this all the way over until you get to, hang on, something doesn't see, no, sorry. So you get to this redstone line here. Also, place a block there. Right now, run that dust all the way over, and you will see that the door is now currently on. If I press this button, it then closes, and press it again, uh, uh, opens even. <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> so that works. This is a silent T flip-flop. And this is just your standard stuff, really. Right. So, now to get these two going is a bit problematic, but it's fairly easy to do. You want to place a torch on this block here. Place a block up like so and a block across. You want a block, uh, a torch on that block with a redstone repeater there. Grab yourself some stone, because now this is where you want to build your, like, tunnel. I'm gonna say. Uh, do oh, you can put a block there, but I'd be very careful about putting blocks anywhere near pistons as well. They can be very, very strange. Okay, so uh, that seems. Oh no, that's why because that goes there. I need a block and a block here. So yeah. Uh, block on top of this redstone torch here. You then want a block here and a block here. Then I do believe this needs to come up like so. And remove that block just there. So then from that redstone torch you go there, there, there. There and there. So now you are powering both top and bottom. If I then go ahead and place a block just there and then press our button, you'll see the door will close. And press it again and she opens. Right, we are not done just yet though. We need a block on the side of this torch just here with a redstone torch there, one there. Then you want to do a block. Torch, block, torch, block, torch, uh, block, and let me just check, yeah, that's in the right place, awesome, 
and that uh, is basically the whole system that works. That's the line that is going to run this entire system. Okay, so let's now move on to the pig circuit. Okay, sorry, very quickly, don't come up onto your where your wall's going to be. You want to go from here, there, and there, so you're powering this block from the side, not on top, because uh, there's some redstone stuff that needs to go just there. Okay, so for the pink circuit, even, you will need a pink wall, 18, 10 redstone repeaters, 10 redstone dust, 2 sticky pistons, and 1 observer. And you need two. So you need to eye this out. So where these top blocks are for your tunnel slash door. You don't want to place any blocks here. You want to come up a block so that it's here. Now, don't worry and bear with me. As you can see, it is level just there. Right. So one of the first things that you do want to do is knock out this middle block here. You want to place an observer facing down. You want a block there and a block there. Now you need a redstone repeater. Now which way is this redstone repeater facing? Because I always seem to get it right that way. Uh, it needs to face away from the blue circuit on full delay with a redstone dust and a redstone dust. Uh, then we need... Uh, I'm going to place down two temporary blocks just so I can place in these pistons. And we can even put a block to replace that one we've just knocked out. Right. Okay, so knock out these two pink blocks because you don't actually need them there. From this back piston here, you want to come out two, then place two. And same on the other side. And then you want to place a block there. Don't worry about it. It will make sense shortly. And from here, you want one block, two block there. Then come to here. Block there, block there, block there, block there, block, block there. Right, now this whole section here is all redstone repeated. Except for just there and just there into redstone repeater into... Uh, was just a timing delay, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've got two repeaters just here. This one's on full tick. Uh, you need another dust just there going into a repeater there. As you heard that piston fire. And then underneath this block, miss this one. You want a block there with, I think it's a piece of redstone. Yep. And you want the repeater just here going into two ticks then you just want to redstone all of this up and now if we go ahead and press our button we will see the door closes and we have a full retraction and press it again and we get door open and full extension of the double piston extender woohoo right then let's move on to the next one Okay, so for the yellow circuit, you will need 23 yellow blocks. You will need 10 redstone dust, 4 redstone comparators, 3 redstone repeaters, 1 sticky piston, 1 observer, and 1 water bucket. Do not put the water bucket in yet. Uh, you remember those blocks from earlier that I said that you're going to need? I would grab them now. You'll need 18. Right, first things first. Uh, come to the very top of your build. Uh, place a... Temporary block there and just put in your sticky piston. You will need a block there. And this is now where you can build that 3x3 three three little hole. Uh, like so. You should have something that is then too high. That you can put the water in the top. I do not suggest you do that just yet. Right, remove that temporary block from there and grab your wall. You then want to come down to there. Am I right? Uh, yeah, you need a block. Uh, down one and across one from there. You want to block out here. Remove that block just there. You then want to place in blocks just here. Let's go for three. You need a block there and there. There. Uh, I think it's 
there and there, 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 and uh, I think then that's straight across, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so you will need redstone dust here, here, here. Uh, then you need uh, no two comparators like a so. Uh, two redstone dust like that. You'll need then a redstone, no, redstone repeater. Hang on, where is that observer actually? Oh, okay. So you need a repeater here on full delay. You'll then need the observer facing this way. And then you can just connect the redstone there. You need a repeater there on two ticks? Yes. See, so I got it right. You then need redstone dust there with a repeater on four ticks. You want to place a redstone dust on top of the blue block just there. You'll notice that there's nothing actually connected. Now we get to the fun bit. You need a redstone dust there. Comparator there and comparator there. And I think, and I do believe that this here, place a block here and a block there. You then also want to put this into subtract mode. And a block there. I'm going to just double check that whole thing. 